to another... Something's not right with the background here. I think we need to make a quick change. One moment, please. Now, isn't that so much better and spookier because we are in spooky season, you guys. I mean, you're in the mood, clearly, because thank you for the love on this last video, which was the kickoff to fall in the spooky season with a Harry Potter theme, of course. What are we doing here? So I already got started with the decor. We've got this. We got the Chamber of Secrets situation going on. I hope I'm not creeping anybody out with those spiders because they're going to be up there, okay? And my husband did this corner over here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how, what's going on with uh, Haggard's goggles on the skull. But it's a situation and it's spooky and it's happening. And we've got pumpkins and poor, poor Newt. My new, my new Newt figure, poor Newt is just surrounded by craziness and I mean I'm even sporting the craziness we've got the Bellatrix Lestrange vibe going on here with the hair um but we're in a mood because we are continuing with from the well from the last video we did a shop with me we did a spooky Harry Potter shop with me and this video is going to be what I got or at least part one of two so I wanted to break it out into kind of exactly how we did it last year, which was the first videos we ever did on this here channel. Um, and we did like a Harry Potter inspired haul, which are the items that you would have seen. Why are we doing this? I don't know. <laughs> They're the items that you would have seen at Michael's and Joanne and all of the places that aren't necessarily licensed items, aren't necessarily outright Harry Potter in your face Harry Potter items. They're those items that give that extra vibe. Okay, and we're vibing here, if you can't tell. I even got the Prisoner of Azkaban sweater going on. It's not actually an Azkaban sweater, it's just a striped sweater that gives me prison vibes, okay? And there's no other prison other than Azkaban. But I wanted to start off with that video to set the world, because we world build in this house. And then the following video is going to be another haul, um, and it's going to be actual licensed items so from spirit halloween although we have some spirit halloween things anyway i know some people only like the licensed stuff we like all things harry potter and anything that can make this house spooky and harry potter is what we're here for so that's what we're doing today but before we do if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful and spooky is wonderful um then hit that subscribe button subscribe subscribe, subscribe. i can't i cannot speak I feel like a spell is being put on my lips right now. Uh, that button right down to here. And be notified every time there's a new weird spooky video. We got many to come to your eyeballs. So stay tuned and let's get this show on the road. Okay, I have everything laid out and I can tell you I am loving this color palette. I will show it to you kind of all together at the end. But like I said, this is the kind of inspired Harry Potter stuff where you look at it, it's not licensed, it's not outright in your face. Harry Potter, but it fits in because you need those things to really world build Harry Potter, which is what I do in my house. So um, we're going to be looking, like I said, at those places we went to. And one of them was Spirit Halloween. Now, Spirit Halloween has licensed stuff. I'm going to save some of those things that I got for another video um, and look at the stuff, which isn't a lot like what I'm wearing. Just this sweater um, is from Spirit Halloween. This is the first year I've seen. I mean, I've been stocking them for a couple years now. <laughs> this is the first year that I have seen more basic sweaters, like more basic clothing where it feels Halloween-y. Like, you, I mean, it's a striped black and white shirt. Like, I just got out of Azkaban or something, okay? Um, but there's no, like, like label on it that says Spirit Halloween or something like that. And there were quite a few things like that this year. So I snagged this sweater. And then the other thing that I snagged, so I didn't show this clip to you, but there is a section in Spirit Halloween that is very witchy. And I would say the bulk of it won't fit into a Harry Potter Halloween, at least the theme, the dark academia look I'm going for. Um, but there have been some things, like there is this raven skull that they have this year too. I'll slap an image above of what that looks like and we have actually two of them I have one for the muggle job and one for here because it, it's just I love it um, I love the like symbols and everything like that so you can find things like that in that section and just throughout um, and so one of the things that I did pick up 
is this mantle decor. One of the mantle drapey situations. And I went with the spider one. I don't think I've done a mantle um, like piece of fabric. I can't remember. I'd have to look back at my footage from last year's Harry Potter Halloween. And spiders obviously fit. I mean, we got some spiders. I don't know if you could see them on the frames back there. Um, you know, Chamber of Secrets, yo. So I thought, why not? It adds a little pop because there is a little bit of um, an orange light in the fabric. So we'll see how that works. We'll put it together. We'll do a decorate with me, a faux show. So that is all from Spirit Halloween that I'm gonna show in this video. I'm gonna keep going with like the places that were smaller amounts because I can tell you right now, and somebody said it in the comments too from that shop with me that Michaels brought it. And they brought it last year too, at least for the aesthetic we're going for. So I'm gonna save Michaels till the end. Um, this isn't really Halloween-y. It's a place that actually doesn't have Halloween stuff out yet. We will be going to it and it's World Market, but we did recently go there and I picked this up and I feel like it, it could just fit into like a relic of some kind. It's a magnifying glass. It's a very small one. So I do want to get a bigger one, but I like the red handle. It feels um, a natural kind of wood color. It just feels like it would fit in, like I can have it laying on top of a spell book um, or something like that. Just these little things are what I'm talking about that I feel like if you get so head focused on licensed, then you miss out on a lot of that stuff that brings the whole space together. Okay, anyway, I said my piece there. Um, the last, not the last two items, another other places where I got like one thing. So as I mentioned, I went to TJ Maxx and Ross and all of those places that really, in my opinion, had hot garbage. A lot of like, like old lady country stuff. I'm saying it, it's just not for this aesthetic. But I always find a candle and I really shouldn't because I just went downstairs and I saw a box of Halloween candles. I will show you that when we do a, um, a decorate with me. But I did like this one. I love that rusty orange, as you know from that video. What does it say? Scarlet pumpkin. And then I like the little cat on top and it is, and it's not like a straight, it almost smells apple-y. It's not a straight pumpkin flavor, which I really like pumpkin flavors, but you can find them all over the place, that pumpkin spice. So it's a little different and I just really like that color. And then another item is one that was gifted to me by my modre, modre, my mother. <laughs> and it's not like, again, straight up Harry Potter, but I thought it was very thoughtful and cute. And it is this, hopefully it can come across. Let me do, and maybe it doesn't matter the size. I don't think you're seeing it. It's got this sort of like um, amber color, but it's a bat. It's a stainless, <laughs> I was gonna say stainless steel. What are these called? Stained glass bat. So I'm thinking because there's a lot of stained glass in Harry Potter, there are stained glass situations, you know, in Harry Potter. And I felt like she may not have known this, that in that way it can fit in. So we'll probably put that in front of a window or something, but I went and mentioned it because it was gifted to me, which was very sweet. Um, and then, as you might have remembered from that video, Joanne really swung and missed this year, but I did find two things. Um, one of them is just a storage item and they always have storage items. They're these like cardboard boxes that, um, store things, that's what storage items do. And most of them also, again, felt very like old lady country, if you will, and that's not my style. But this feels very dark, very Aragog, you know? We got spiders, can't go wrong with that. We do get that subtle pop of orange on the inside, and it's just a small box, so it'll just help me store all of my Halloween stuff, because <laughs> I'm gonna need that. Okay, and then the last and only other item from Joanne Fabric. Joanne, it's not Joanne Fabric, it's just Joanne. Joanne's. <laughs> I watch Jade the Libra, okay? So we say Joanne. Um, go watch her if you like Halloween. She is the girl for that. I picked up this cauldron, which has like a spider web pattern. It's very subtle. It is a glossy cauldron and typically I wouldn't aim for a glossy cauldron um, because, well, I just feel like it might not fit really in worlds in Harry Potter, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. It felt like it would be easy to clean and maybe could be used for candy or something like that. It does have a handle as you can hear and yeah, it's actually made of ceramic where 
Joanne has some plastic ones too, and I typically pass on the plastic. The times that I would do a plastic cauldron, obviously we did a plastic cauldron, a very large one. It was our centerpiece because we needed an, a lightweight cauldron that we can work with. Um, but I'd like to do like a stackable cauldron too. And I think for that, I definitely would not want to put ceramic on top of ceramic. So that would be another time. Otherwise I tend to opt for, um, you know, durable quality materials. Okay, then the last place before we get into Michael's, I'm assessing everything, is home goods. And if you saw any of our early videos, like the very beginning, we started this channel during Halloween time and we did a video like this, which was that inspired by Harry Potter um, stuff, Halloween stuff, I had picked up a plate. These are coveted plates at Home Goods. I mean, I'm talking when you find them, you're lucky when you find them because they're often picked over and resold. And they are by, what was the name again? Royal Stafford, it's an um, English, it is British, so it's shipped over here, but they are Halloween plates. And this is one that I wanted, I've got two, and I couldn't get my hands on last year. And it is a little witch, in our house. So you got all the candles and the skulls and the cauldron and the cat and the broom and all them things that feel witchy. And I feel like because she's very generic, um, same with the other plate too, it can fit into Harry Potter and it's dinnerware. So it's a lot more subtle and put away. And then there's food on it as you would put on dinnerware. Uh, and then the other one I did not get last year. Last year I got the outside scene. So go watch that video over there. Um, is the outside, um, sorry, outside scene with the cauldron. This is the outside of the front of the house, which I think it's just called Witch House. These plates were only $6.99. They're really good quality. Um, they're really cute. I can have them paired with each other. And then I didn't stop there. So the other thing I picked up is another set of plates that are um, more like salad plates. So they're a pack of four, but I'm not gonna keep all four. So let me show you the two that felt very Harry Pottery to me. And the set as a whole, how much were you? It was really cheap. I wanna say it was $9.99 or less. It was, it was definitely no more than $9.99. So let me show you the two real quick that I don't feel Harry Potter vibes from. And that is this one. It's got some like gravestones and a little witch flying above and it's just plain on the other side, but it is a salad plate, so it's a lot smaller. And then this one is, whoa, a like a bunch of ghosties in a house with some bats. That doesn't really read Harry Potter to me and the ghosts are very kind of cutesy. These two are the ones that felt very Harry Pottery. I mean, you've got potions, a cauldron, um, snake oil, spider venom. It's a whole sort of apothecary um, scene with all the potions and stuff. And it's just very subtle. There's no witch or anything like that. So this can definitely come out of a, a potion room. It could be where Hermione was brewing some poly juice. I don't know. I mean, that was in the bathroom, but. Um, and then this one felt very Harry Pottery to me because we've got well, we got a skeleton, so that brings in the Halloween and a candle over here, but we've got a scabbers representation. We've got some, I mean, a snake can be all sorts of things. It can be Slytherin, it can be the basilisk. It doesn't look like a basilisk. It could be a Nagini, who knows? We've got a crystal ball right here. We got some prophecy situations. I just felt like it, it read Harry Potter throughout the whole thing. It was really subtle. It's a salad plate, so it's a different size. So that is everything. Before we get to the big kahuna, which is Michael's. Let me show you the thing that I know I showed you putting in my basket. And I got two of them, as you may have seen. They are these, are they just candlestick holders? Pillar, pillar holder. It's a candlestick holder. I need to make sure I get a candle that fits on this, but we've got these skeleton candlestick holders. So the vibe that I tend to aim for is a dark academia, dark witch, um, like Borgen and Burks feel. And you can't go wrong with skulls with Borgen and Burks. And just that like natural color, like if the skull were more yellow, it wouldn't really work. Um, that more white, the blacks, all of this. I mean, it screams Borgen and Burks. I would say one of the things that I do is sometimes I'll go back and look at universal footage of Borgen and Burks just to get, a, or as well as watch, you know, portions of the films um, to get 
uh, inspiration. And really, Borgen and Burks is a lot of skeleton skulls, but also just a lot of relics and old things laying around. So that's the other thing I kind of keep an eye out for and why I picked up the magnifying glass. And I'm going to keep my eye out for more of those things. Oh, speaking of skeletons, let's show another one. I picked up this stackable skeleton. And this is not plastic. It's some sort of, I'm going to guess, resin of some kind is how they you know, make it affordable. But it has a nice wash over it as far as that brown, um, picking up on all the little hollowy bits. And it's a stacked one, so it's different. We have quite a few just skeletons of all kinds. And I think maybe in one year we might do a theme that is just straight up only Borgen and Burks, which would mean getting a bunch more skeletons and other things. So it's, a, it's always a slow build. Um, and then one of the first things that I picked up and showed you guys was in those beginning aisles and it's a garland. This is what I'm talking about with stuff that is not straight up Harry Potter, but can really add um, so much to a space. And this could be used more than just Halloween time, but I felt like this green just feels really Slytherin-y. It's a nice deep green with a little bit of like light green shading. And I like that the um, cord and wire itself is like a black color. So it can fit in and be a little more subtle, like pop of green in places. You can wrap it around things if you wanted to. Um, put it behind in a shelf like so I picked up two of them because honestly I did not read the measurements and it's better to have too much than too little so we have that and then what's next I picked up this one of you in the comments said you were going to go head over to Michael's and pick this up well I got it myself and it is one of those potion bottles that we saw so they had three potion bottles. I think it was green, pink, and purple. I might go back for the pink one. I could see that fitting in like Valentine's Day time, but also just a different section in general. I think for this year and the colors I'm going for, the green is just gonna be all I need. I don't love that the knob on the top doesn't come out. It's just what Michaels does. I mean, Joanne does that as well. Because, I mean, if you took that out, you would just get so much more versatility. You can turn it into, like, an essential, like, like a reed diffuser. You can turn it into having some actual flowers, maybe, like, one um, or two coming out of it. Anyway, but I did think it looked good on its own. And it does have that little snake that's making this obnoxious noise dangling off of it there. So it'll be a subtle little pop of green. I always like to balance out the pops of, like... Um, green and orange and all of that. Um, and then let's keep with that same aisle. So no, that's a different aisle. We're all over the place. Okay. The next thing that we picked up was one that my husband actually said, yeah, let's do that. And that is this little beaker that is attached to a piece of metal. So if you remember, there were like more of those like triangular beakers that are traditionally seen in a chemistry class. And as he pointed out, and I agree, those feel very like muggle-ish. They feel very modern day. And if you look at the films, you don't really see that kind of stuff. You're gonna see a little bit more like this with that rounded, um, whoa, maybe I shouldn't grip it like that. <laughs> top there versus what we see in at least uh, in America here in our chemistry classes. So we wanted to stay away from anything that felt very muggly and go with something um, that felt a little more magical. And to go with that, possibly, we'll see, I picked these two things up. It was the lace wing flies that we got. I think I said Bezors in the, in the video. Um, we got those uh, lace wing flies from the wizarding trunk and they came in a little box. Um, I have those on the shelf downstairs and I saw these at Michael's. It is a container of flies that look exactly the same. Exactly the same. Like I think no difference whatsoever. So they clearly, I mean, it's just what you do uh, kind of, if you're not gonna make it yourself, um, bulk bought them, made the box and put a few of them in there. Well, if you want more of them, <laughs> that's what we got. So I got one of those and in the same area, they had these glow in the dark phosphorescent um, snakes. And my thinking, we'll see what we do with them is maybe they can go in like a potion thing. Maybe you've got some. I know that's really cruel, okay. Cruelty to snakes, they're not real, okay. Um, and you put that in there and then got some sort of liquid that has like maybe a thickness to it or something. Maybe a slight touch of color, but not too much because we want to like light these up so at night 
then there's just a pop and a nice creep of um, some snakes inside, you know? <laughs> I mean, they do put some creatures inside of potions. They are ingredients. It is what it is. Okay. It's a magical world. This is not real life. Okay, I think there's just two items left, and they are some of my faves. And one of them, no, I'll just do the one that I showed you. So I did end up getting this, and it is the toad which we can't call Trevor because we already have a Trevor. In fact, I have a, a plush Trevor over here by this. We got the goggles on the on the skull over there. I'm not even pointing to it. But anyway, I have the plush frog and then but I do have an actual like um I think it's ceramic. Uh it might be more of a resin. It's a really nice frog that has like a or toad that has like a toad color. It's really pretty. Um, I'll do a bookshelf tour at some time so you could see that. I mean, you'll see a bit of that in the, in the tour that we do um, for the final decorations. But this one's got a nice, like, black and gold vibe. It's not even gold. It's um, kind of a bit bronzy between a gold and a, and a silver. Um, so I think I said I'd, I'd call him Travis. I don't know. Do we keep with the T's? Well, he's not alone because we also got this little guy. I agree with my husband. I think the bigger one's much more interesting, probably because I like the depth with the having more black. But I do like that um, they are at least different from each other. So this one has more gold. So I don't know. I like them both, but really, really cute. Definitely fits in with everything that I'm seeing here. And then the very last thing was one that I was kind of on the fence about and it was only because I was wondering if I might stain it or something but I actually think it would work really well um and it is this potions and spells sign so it's got that like really light base and then this gold line and then the lettering in gold and then a black trim it's pretty basic and I started thinking because um when I had messaged my husband he said yeah get it um that it with it being a little more basic and subtle and simple pops of gold, it, it will let the potions pop a lot more. Now, I don't have a huge amount of potions. We're starting to really build there. So I think one year we're gonna do like a potions theme. So we'll figure out where we're gonna put that there. There, where we're gonna put it. <laughs> but one year I think it, everything's gonna be focused around this, which would be really cool. And I definitely plan to make some of my own potions. Um, but yeah, let me pull everything out so you can kind of see the aesthetic really quick as I promise. Like look at how all of these skulls and the toad looks together. Michael's really brought it this year. Um, but that, let me settle this down. That is a wrap of the Halloween, Harry Potter Halloween haul inspired, all of those words. <laughs> Um, from the shop with me, stay tuned for another haul that's going to be all Harry Potter specific things for Halloween. I'm so excited to show you that. I have so much more planned. We're gonna be renting a car, which we do every year, um, but I'm excited. We have so much planned, but until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic, and I'll see you in the next spooky video. Bye!